Welcome to the home of the Noble Warriors, the 7th Infantry Battalion, also known as the Tapat Battalion of the 6th Infantry Kampilan Division, Philippine Army. The 7th Infantry Tapat Battalion traces its humble beginning from the original 7th Battalion Combat Team, one of the first units activated on February 1, 1950, as part of the Philippine Ground Forces known as the Ninita Unit. The 7th Battalion Combat Team under the command of Colonel Napoleon P. Valerio, participated in the campaign against the Hooks and Secessionists in Southern Philippines. On July 1, 1973, the Philippine Army reorganized and formed the 7th Infantry Battalion at Camp Lapu-Lapu, Cebu City, under the leadership of Major Wilfredo A. Dublin as its first battalion commander. The unit was organized through the Kamagong concept, Hence, it was composed mostly of 20-year-old trainees and draftees led by officers and non-commissioned officers who painstakingly prepared the young men for a combat operation. Then on, the unit hurdled the mountainous areas of Visayas and Mindanao and became famous during the battles of Central Mindanao Command under Army General Fortunato U. Abbott in the 70s. The campaign of the Philippine Constabulary Task Force Sugarland in the 80s. The Operation Thunderbolt in Negros Island led by Army General Raimundo T. Jarque in the 90s. The successful assault of Camp Abu Bakar in 2001. Successful campaign against Abu Sayyaf groups in Holo Sulu and lawless local terrorist groups in Maguindanao area in 2002. The combat clearing operation in Pipalma B area of North Cotabato in 2008. The Oplan BIFF stake in 2015 at Barangay Kabasalan, Pikit North Cotabato. And the Oplan Bagyo and Oplan Sagyap at Maguindanao area in 2020. Today, the 7IB under the leadership of Lieutenant Colonel Romel S. Valencia, Infantry General Staff Corps Philippine Army, conducts development support and security operations to dismantle East Daguma Front, deny local terrorist groups and other threat groups, support law enforcement operation, sustain collaboration with peace and client armed groups, and enhance interagency operation in order to create an environment conducive to social, economic, and cultural development. 7IB has three rifle companies and one cadre company to accomplish its mission. In connection with the AFP-DSSP Kapayapaan of winning the hearts and sympathy of the people, 7IB is bound to conduct focused military operation in its non-traditional role. 7IB is part of the Joint Task Force Central Operation in clearing the Bangsamoro Islamic Freedom Fighters stronghold in Salbo, Pagatin, Mama Sapano, and Sharif Agwap also known as the SPMS Box, in order to prevent them from spoiling the ongoing MILF GPHP's process. On the other hand, to achieve peace, 7IB adopted the Community Support Program concept on Red Area Operation, targeting the geographically isolated and disadvantaged areas as a strategy of the Civil Military Operation to help the local government units and government agencies to bring relevant services to the people of the conflict-affected barangays. Also, in partnership with local government units and other stakeholders, the 7IB facilitated peace rally condemning the evil acts of the local terrorist groups, conducted community outreach programs in the IP community, Serbisho Caravan as part of the Retooled Community Support Program or RCSP, Bloodletting, Medcap, Brigada Iskwala, Iftar Offering, also known as Pabuka ng Tapat during the Holy Month of Ramadan, Tree Planting, Free Circumcision, Free Haircut, and Disaster Relief Operations during the onslaught of COVID-19 pandemic, and other calamities in collaboration with the different allied agencies within the unit's area of operation. On personal development, the 7IB provides leadership seminars, Army Transformation Roadmap Seminars and Lectures on Understanding Peace and Development Concepts and Appearances in Human Rights and International Humanitarian Law Forum. 
in support to the Environmental Protection Program of the government, 7IB requires its personnel undergoing restructured reenlistment training to participate in cleanup drives and tree planting activities of the unit. 7IB is now on its Army Governance Pathway Institutionalized Status Gold Trail Blazer, awarded last February 12, 2021. The unit's programmed activities are aligned with the unit's best practices, the tactical pistol proficiency test on personal readiness, the traditional religious military advisory group on mission accomplishment, and the pabuka ng tapat servisong tapat sa Sultan Kudarat on other chosen perspective in order to attain its breakthrough goals towards mission accomplishment. 7IB is now transforming into a dynamic force ready to face the challenges of the future in support to peace and development. To sustain this change, 7IB intends to pursue the bolder innovations and creativity of the coming years to align itself and its personnel to the objectives of the Army Transformation Roadmap. 7IB will continue to perform its mandate of serving the people and securing the land and intends to achieve this in collaboration and cooperation with stakeholders in the area. 7IB has served our country well and it's still serving with passion and dedication. 7IB will continue to be your partner, anchored with its mantra, Servisong Tapat para sa lahat.